sorry about that my alarm went off and that's probably a sign for some of you guys that was that alarm going off in your head like oh that's why i feel like sugar honey iced tea now yeah because you got to sit there and have the strength and the courage to pull yourself out of that hole okay and it's the hole that you dug for yourself all the bad choices you've made and things like that that stuff is going to come up you can't sit there and and put sugar on top of shit like the, you just can't do that you got to clean it up and you know when you sit there and you got a dog and you pick it up or whatever and it might sit there still got some streaks on the floor you got to get that <laughs> that bleach or whatever and, and and a paper towel and you want to clean it all up you can't sit there and leave nothing there can't leave no spots around if you guys want to know more about, you know, A Dark Night of the Soul, I do share my story of my Dark Night of the Soul. And we go through multiple of them. You know, Dark Nights of the Soul, because you got childhood trauma you got to heal from. You got adolescent trauma you got to heal from. Young adulthood trauma, adulthood trauma. So you're going to go through multiple Dark Nights of the Soul. As you shed in your ego, shed in layers of yourself, kind of like a snake. They shed their skin. You're doing that right now. Okay, and you, the more you shed, the better you do feel. And the thing is, people don't understand with spirituality is not always positive. Everything is duality. You're going to go through ups and downs, even just like how you did before you even got into spirituality. Spirituality just leads you in a different path of how to cope with things, how to respond to things. And, you know, it gives you different tools, natural tools like crystals and stuff to help you, you know, heal and things like that. And different methods of, you know, coping with your problems versus drinking alcohol or smoking weed or overspending. Like they'll tell you to meditate and do yoga. These are just tools to help you navigate through this journey of getting to know thyself and getting back to your core before you were infiltrated by the adults in the environment around you. Okay. But you have to have the strength right now if you're the type of person that went through all this positive stuff and now you're hitting this dark night of the soul. This is where you're going to find yourself. Okay. But you got to be strong, okay? And you got to sit there and have passion to heal. You wanted to heal from, from this? Well, you got to have enough strength, enough passion, enough courage to sit there and get yourself through it. Because that you have to he feel it to heal it. You can't sit there and hide it anymore. But yeah, I have a podcast. If you go on Instagram, at The Honest Homegirl. Or if you go on Spotify and put in The Honest Homegirl. I believe it comes up, my podcast. And I have... Um, a podcast talking about you know my first dark night of the soul and you know how it was and what I went through and whatnot I think I'm gonna do a video on my other YouTube channel I think I'm gonna start doing that and um, give you different tips and tricks on what I did to help me get through those dark times but uh, let's see what else we have for the divine masculine energy We got Cut It featuring Young Dolph and I don't know who else is in this. Genesis or somebody? I don't know. Yeah, but you need to cut it, okay? Thinking that you're going to skip that the bad part of healing. You ain't really healed. Yeah, you're going to be soul searching. Some of you are ready to take that leap of faith and really find out who you are. I tell everybody, go back to your childhood. Everything stems from your childhood. This is why people, parents need to understand that what you do to your children as children and as young adults and young adolescents and stuff like that that stuff affects them in the future how your relationship with them is is setting the tone for the relationships with the same sex and opposite sex you want your kids to be caring and and loyal and show integrity and they want you want them to be a certain way you have to implement that in your relationship with them if you're the type of person where you your coping mechanisms are unhealthy, guess what you're teaching your kids? You're teaching them to do the same thing, but then you don't want them to do what you did, but you're doing exactly what you, you don't want them to do. This came out on the side. Some of you guys may be looking for a Pisces, or a Pisces may be looking for you. Um, some of you may want to reach out to this person, or you don't. Okay, for others of you, you want to know the hidden parts of yourself and why you are the way that you are and then some of you you want to avoid it but that can't happen okay um we have the sun and the moon here so like i said there's duality there is good and bad is there's ups and downs there's you know but that's who you are and some of you you're really balancing out 
your light side and your dark side within you like you're really working on you know people say you know demons but demons aren't bad i tell people all the time your demons see what the, they become a problem when they control you you are supposed to be controlling your demons so like for instance right people always talk about they don't talk about dark magic they don't do dark magic they don't do this they don't do that but if you're doing protection protective work that is not light work okay dark magic protection black magic hit, light and reversal candles all that stuff that is not light work that is dark work why because you're protecting yourself and just like with your demons say somebody come up to you and slap you in your face you gonna sit there and just let that person slap you in your face or you gonna sit there and defend yourself that's when your demons gonna sit there and work for you you standing up for yourself that's when your demons is working for you when you sitting there speaking your truth and whether it hurts or not that's your demons working for you and you're learning there's a time and a place for those things Sometimes it's a time for you to just be happy and positive and enjoy the moment. And then there's times where you're going to have to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. But you, I feel like you are realizing that and you are embracing the light and dark within you. Okay. We all have it. We have low vibrational parts of us and high vibrational parts of ourselves that we're going to continuously be working on. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys, you were in commitments and marriages with people you're seeing the good and the bad and relationships and commitments and yeah some of you you're realizing too that this was just not going to work okay some of you don't know how to fix a problem with an air sign gemini libra aquarius female here okay you're trying to figure out how you could get back in this person's good graces because it looked like you made this person mad or you disappointed this person, you may need to have the courage to step up and face this person, call this person, explain yourself to this person. Some of you, you may not want to take another leap of faith in a relationship. Uh, here go changes. Um, with a Pisces, after being something being revealed to you, this Pisces could have been dealing with a Leo. Okay. Some of you are having the strength to sit there and let go of these negative thoughts of this person. Like you're being divinely guided to let go um of negative thoughts and have the strength to keep moving i do feel like too you were about to take a leap of faith with somebody and some some secrets was exposed and you were like mm, i'm glad i didn't take that leap of faith okay um like i said was for some of you 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 ain't trying to fix a situation <laughs> with a pisces like you just letting it be what it is and that's just it um but for others of you, if things weren't going your way and you've been working on yourself actively and really changing who you are as an individual and not making excuses and actually you say you're going to save money, you saving your money. You say you're not going to be drinking no more, you not you, you don't cut down on the drinking. You say if you say if you do if you are doing what you say you're going to do, you're going to see drastic changes. And if you're not doing what you said you was going to do, you still going to see drastic changes, but they're going to be consequences that you ain't going to like. Okay? Um If you were dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in your past I feel like this person they are hiding from you or they don't <laughs> I don't know what this person they don't know what to do with you okay they look at you as you changed and they've changed how they feel about you okay um for others of you this Pisces that you were dealing with this person is not um in like this masculine energy of trying to cut you off or cut you out anymore like this person is starting to tap into their divine feminine energy so if you were dealing with a pisces that was real masculine um they're changing their ways and i think they may be changing their ways for you but i don't know if you want to take notice in that or not um and it says you can do it ice cube okay you could do it put your back into it <laughs> um for others of you um, you need to find a new job because the job that you're in, that ain't it. Okay. And that's why things ain't working out for you. All right. 
I like turning the reversals upright because my cards weren't meant to ever be in the reverse. So when they are in the reverse, there's a reason for that. For others of you, I do feel like you're realizing too that um, the secret to getting your way and doing what you need to do is to not be so standoffish towards people. It's you letting your guard down and being more vulnerable at this time and see you got the one at the bottom of the deck again but let's get um your messages from your person and oh darn it i'm gonna because the thing cut off i gotta sit there and i'm gonna have to watch this video again only for me to get the time stamp for um the messages for your person or well, somebody please put it in the um time stamp below for me if y'all don't see me have it up there just yet i try to do it as i'm going so I don't have to sit because I don't be watching these videos anymore. <laughs> I don't go back to watching them unless I'm guided to watch them. Well, you only got a few from your person. Y'all got very little words. And it says, I want to get down with you. So you may want to get to know somebody or somebody may want to get to know you. It says, can I spend the night? Somebody want to spend the night or you want somebody to spend the night? nightmares okay some of you may not like to sleep alone by yourself because you're having nightmares and you're fighting demons but those are your demons and you know those are your demons and then it says call me either they want you to call them you to call them or you want th somebody to call you um yeah that's that's basically what they want to say to you <laughs> or you want to say to them so let's get some homegirl advice for you guys the full moon is going to be a prominent time for you. That's probably when something may be revealed to you. And then you have, I have the willpower to do it. So have the willpower to move on. Have the willpower to love yourself. Have the willpower to get yourself out of the mud. Okay. Have the willpower to face your demons. Okay. And then it says everything is crystal clear now, right? It makes sense. And then it says ancestral healing is needed. So something that your parents went through, something that your grandparents went through, you're going through it now. And you are the chosen one to heal, you know, whatever it is that you're dealing with that you need to heal from that was passed on to you. Whether it was, you know, being a cheater, being a liar, not, you know following happiness some people you know back in the day people used to stay in relationships tomorrow you got to work things out through thick and thin that is so outdated we have learned that that was toxic low vibrational energy and a lot of people only stayed together for benefits it was a business deal that's what that was because that's why those men out there had them side pieces and stuff like that because they were with that person because it was a business somebody got pregnant that probably wasn't supposed to get pregnant and y'all sat there and they stuck with them and it was cheaper to keep them and the person they really was in love with was a side piece people ain't doing that no more people is over here they finding their happiness they're doing what makes them happy they ain't sitting here sticking around through thick and thin and staying miserable for the rest of their life that's just not it okay nobody's doing that anymore for others of you, you know, back in the day, people, they wouldn't give black folks, you know, apartments and houses unless they were married. So that's why they did what they did, you know, to have a better life type of thing. But we're in different times now. You don't have to stick around somewhere if you're not happy and you're miserable. And all the answers are within you. And you know this already. Okay. We're not doing that over here. We're we're focused more on what makes us happy okay that's what life is about shoot there's people with millions of dollars and them people like still ain't happy this is why them people's over there committing suicide and on all these drugs and stuff like that because their asses ain't happy they ain't following their heart and what truly lights them up inside okay and then we have no need to do i'm exactly where i need to be exactly when i need to be there's nothing more I need to do. I mean, yes, there will always be laundry and taxes, but in terms of my life's path, I don't need to do anything because I'm already here. I take a deep breath, relax and trust and then do laundry. Yeah. So you may feel like you're not going anywhere or doing anything. Some of you, you are at a standstill right now because God wants you to refocus on what you want to do in life. God wants you to sit there and, and backtrack and regroup on the things that you planned on doing that may have turned into something else, you know? God wants you to get yourself together. So sometimes these, these, this stagnation energy is for the best, okay? It's for you to relax and slow down because y'all guys is always on the go. 
sit down before I pop y'all. <laughs> and once you get it together and you've got a plan, then you go gallop towards it, all right? See, we have playtime here, all right? It says the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. And then we have dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself, see yourself succeeding, okay? And then you got tranquility still at the bottom of the deck. And it's, like I said, you guys, even through the tough times, even through the dark times, you got to find some type of joy. Some of you need to find a hobby, okay? Something that makes you light up inside, something that, you know, a healthy hobby, all right? Painting, fishing, you know, something that is going to it's a healthy distraction read a book i always tell people all the time to read books too that's a healthy escape too sometimes all right when you don't want to deal with things but being childlike some of y'all need to be around children more okay and to go do something that your kids want to do and ha and really embrace the moment because i promise you being around children especially me being a daycare provider for over 15 years they one were the ones that triggered me to heal and to change as a person and two, you realize that kids, all they want is to have fun and to be happy. It's y'all adults that's the problem. It ain't the kids, it's y'all. And once y'all realize that, your kids will sit there and teach you so much about yourselves because they're literally the physical form of your inner child, okay, screaming out to you like, hey, listen to me. I want to be heard. I want to be seen. This is why your kids is acting up now, okay, because they're not, they don't feel heard. They don't feel loved. They don't feel seen. And that's exactly how you felt as a child. But you over here turned into everything that you dis demised as a kid. And you don't even see it. But you need to dream big because the thing is, there's a lot of things that can happen for you and that you can bring into your life if you, you know, have faith. OK, don't belittle yourself. Don't dumb down your ideas because everything that you want to do in life and want to accomplish in life um, it matters, okay? It matters to me. It matters to you. It matters to God. It matters to your ancestors. But you got to get through this little hump of healing some things and things will flow for you. Don't fight it, okay? Those Pay attention to those nightmares because there's something within those nightmares that's telling you something about yourself. And that's you facing your demons, you know? But I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys want to see your... Zodiac horoscopes. Follow me on TikTok at The Honest Homegirl. Bye.